United Way has 140 agencies serving over 300,000 area people here in the Tri-State, but funding issues mean cuts are on their way. How much isn't really known yet. Nine on your side's Tom McKee has the story of one agency hoping for the best, but preparing for reductions. The United Way board has some tough financial decisions to make in the next couple of weeks. That's because the amount of money raised in the annual campaign fell well short of projections. The United Way goal is $52 million. The amount raised was $50.3 million. Interim CEO Ross Meyer says 140 agencies have been told to expect 15 to 20 percent cuts. The actual numbers won't be finalized until mid-December uh, when our board uh, meets to finalize all decisions, but we'll communicate with our agencies uh, likely in the next uh, 10 days uh, as to what to expect. Angela Carter hopes the reductions won't affect the medical assisting program she's in right now. It's part of the Brighton Center's Center for Employment Training, partly funded by United Way. I've had jobs. I no longer wanted a job. I wanted a career in the medical field in this program is opening the door for that. While Carter studies, her children are in Brighton Center's child care program, also supported by United Way. My children are watching everything that I do, and I want to lead by example, and I know that this program is the stepping stone for me to do that. Brighton Center's president and CEO is Tammy Whitinger. She says 15 to 20 percent reductions could trim up the $260,000 from the budget. Brighton Center serves about 43,000 people a year in Greater Cincinnati, several hundred of them in the job training program. The critical piece about this is our mission is self-sufficiency. And one of the ways people are going to become self-sufficient is to learn a skill and to get into a job and career that's going to lead to a living wage. Carter is crossing her fingers. She says Brighton Center saved her life. I know I personally am benefiting from this program, and United Way helped me, so I would just like for everyone to get the same fair opportunity. Meyer says the campaign is not over. It's going to run through the end of the year. Stick with us. Our community uh, needs uh, the support uh, now more than ever with more than one in three uh, people in our community struggling to make ends meet uh, in poverty. Another item on the board agenda is to possibly extend the United Way campaign year-round instead of just a two-month period. Tom McKee, not on your side, Walnut Hill.